After the All-Star break, we saw the All-Star games. We saw the dunk contest, man, Jalen Green. You're going to get a second chance, my boy. I mean, it, it was horrible. I'm going to be straight up. I can't even let it slack and let you go. But now we back to business. And after the trade deadline, I mentioned the next biggest thing we got to look for is these buyouts, you know? They got to let the boys go. Got to let them eat, especially the older heads. They need a chance to play. Goran Dragic was the move. I want it here, want it now, because tonight's the night the NBA restarts, resets, and gets back to the action. Dragic picked up by the Nets, had to let go of Javon Carter, however, which I think was an ah, about move because now you lost some defense. I thought he would be the defensive intensity guy at the point guard position for the squad, but they've chosen to go all offense. Now, Gordon, uh, Gordon comes back from a background at exceptional seasons, uh, uh, with the Suns and then an successful season uh, with the Heat, I thought, one year. Um, and he still has something in him. At his age, he's going to get the opportunity to play as well. I think that's what he wants. Toronto, no burn. But Kyrie, with this vaccine mandate deal, is an opportunity. Now we talk about the Nets in this situation, how much better they got with a lot of different vets. It's so interesting to me that even though I'm hating on the coaching at times, you can't hate on what the GM, Sean Marks, and Steve Nash have done. They've really created an onslaught of veterans, mixed in with some young players. I think there's not enough of those guys, but enough noise to scare a lot of teams away. Um, with that, as we look at where they're headed from an NBA perspective and their lineup and the standings, um, certainly with the pickup of Ben Simmons, the Nets will have to make a strong run. These boys got to come back hard. They got to beat out Toronto. I think they're a hot skip away from beating the boys on the Boston Celtics. And that's an interesting play for the squad. So now we go up on what's next and what's happening next with this team as far as play style. The Brooklyn Nets now have the opportunity to have a stronger guard lineup with a lot of shooting uh, shooting guards, small forwards, and power forwards that can stretch the floor. From a defensive perspective, you're getting a couple guys that are going to eat a little bit. Let's look at the roster real quick, all right? As we look at the roster, Ben Simmons is there. Kyrie, Stephen Curry, <laughs> James Johnson possibly at the power forward. That's kind of scary, isn't it? And Andre Drummond, okay? That's what it could look like. Now, Durant's injured. That's why he's there. But just imagine that lineup in there, pretty scary for teams. Now, what they lost in defensive intensity, I'm thinking Mr. Bruce Brown makes up for that. The boy is a tremendous defender. They still got David Duke. I'm not sure why they have kept the boy, but he's still there. Okay, he's still there. Joe Harris may make a return. Again, offensively, I think they're set. A little too set for my liking. Okay, but defensively, Where's Mr. Claxton? Nick Claxton's also going to come in there, all right, as a defensive hero. And then you want to add on some more weight. Let's add in some more weight for this team, okay? We talked about that. What about Kalimba Edwards? What is he going to bring to the table, okay? They're really, really light, in my opinion. They're really light at that guard position from a defensive perspective. I don't like it. Okay, I don't like. I didn't like this pickup. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I thought they were good with Javon Carter. I'm not talking about stretches for 20 minutes, 30 minutes of playing defense. I'm just talking about mild stretches. You know, a little game is gamesmanship. Five, ten minutes in certain games to be able to guard the opposing uh, uh, point guard. Now, however, when you when you really take a look at this and you take a peek at these teams, do they really have? Anybody there on the East Coast that's a dog-ass guard that will make somebody scared? I mean, let's let's be honest. Is there any? I mean, Kyrie's there. Kyle Larry uh, off and on. Let's go back to the stands so you see what I'm saying. You see why Javon Carter may not matter as much as some may think if you're really deep in these streets. Does Chicago truly have a true point guard, bro? No. Philadelphia, no. Cleveland Cavaliers are interesting with Garland, who I said was a darling. I done told you a million times about Garland, part of that step-back team. He may be the scary one. Milwaukee, no. Boston, no. You get, you get where they were going here with Javon Carter. 
Where Javon Carter would have helped is if there's Trey Car uh, Trey uh, Trey Young coming in, if Charlotte could get off their toes and try to get in. By the way, with all the accolades of Charlotte, Charlotte, it's actually a shame that they're in this position. I'm not, I'm not gonna front no homo. I can't. It's a shame that Charlotte put themselves in this type of situation to be trying to vie for a spot in the playoffs, especially with the with the East Coast the way it was with the injuries. Now, where this comes in the hurt is if a Chris Paul on the West Coast, okay, um, and, and let's see who else is there. I mean, I really, let me, let me, let me switch over to the division. I believe the West is right underneath it. Ah, oh, come on, Mike. I got, I got to think, bro. Step back, family. Steph Curry, obviously. Ha. All right, Steph Curry and them boys. John Morant, okay, you can put Don Mitchell in that camp. Dallas doesn't really have none. Denver really doesn't have none. Minnesota, you know, Minnesota's in there this year, by the way, folks. I warned you. I warned you. I warned you. Cat, if they were healthy, they got enough. They got a big three, guys. Believe it or not, I'll go into another video. L.A. Clippers are there, okay? So this is interesting. This is very, very interesting. Can the Lakers make it in? And, and bucking at the heels, lo and behold, don't, don't sleep on them. What if Lillard were to come back, combine with Simons, and get Portland in? That would be interesting. And don't do not not think that cannot happen all right don't do it don't do it that said you have this onslaught of talent of guards on the west but none on the east javon carter then is easy let go to count conquer the east coast and you figure once the playoffs come around bruce brown a couple of those guys gonna have to you know nudge up and try to guard the best opposing guard all right Drogic is long enough He's older. They're going to get by him. However, he's, he's a taller 6'3 type guard, so he should be able to account for a lot of difficulties as he makes his way to the NBA. That said, the Brooklyn Nets are totally prepared for ammo, got the weapons ready. Now it's about execution. Will this team make the playoffs? That is that is not a question for me if Durant is able to come back and how the gel will be with Ben Simmons. It's exciting to see, guys. Can this team climb back up? We shall see. It's a war of words. Drogic is at it. I definitely think that gets them into a sixth or fifth seed by the time the season is over. I'm out of here. Mikey, step back. Peace.